Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share across all social media platforms and also press that notification bell. Boom! And of course, if you want to contribute to the channel, you can always contribute clicking back that link description. You can contribute via PayPal as well. Else, join us live on so you can send your live super chat. But let's go straight to it because it is Manchester United. One ammonia nil, aka pneumonia. Manchester United collecting three points after trying several times against Ammonia's goalkeeper, that Nigerian goalkeeper, Uzoho. Oh, what a game he had today. A Manchester United born and bred fan. And you would think a Manchester United fan would let the goals go in. Let Rashford score a couple of goals. Let anyone else score go goals. But you know what he did? He decided to audition for Manchester United because he knows David De Gea's time is coming towards an end. He's like telling Manchester United fans, the Manchester United manager, you know what, you can sign me. I'm going to give you the game of, your, of my life and the game that you would like for, to be impressed. But it is what it is. Manchester United finally getting that goal in the last minute. A late winner against Ammonia, which Scott McTominay himself got that goal. Overall, United in that first half, we was in control. We should have scored as well. Rashford, several opportunities. I, You know what, sir, Mark Rashford? Today, he didn't have his scoring boots. He looked like he had two left foots straight on his, on his feet. He was missing chances after chances. Ronaldo, Bruno, everyone was just missing chances after chances, guys. But in that second half as well, Manchester United doing the same thing, in control, never really looking like they will lose the game. But as well, frustrating us Manchester United fans because the chances as well, putting Omonia on their back foot, Omonia's defence, they defended tremendously. They should be proud of themselves because they did so well to keep Manchester United at bay to one goal to know, especially a last minute winner in injury time. Big up to McTominay who got that goal in. Looking at the game as well, if you start in the first half, Rashford, Marcus Rashford with that chance and opportunity, with that Ronaldo pass, Ronaldo trying to give him the assist, trying to show people that, listen, I give assist, you know, I actually do. But Rashford, the poor finishing way, he should have finished off with his left foot, dinked it over. A weak shot by Marcus Rashford that prevented the goal, goal from going in. But exceptional goalkeeping from Ammonia's goalkeeper who was having the game of his life. In the second half as well, and when it, and it was half-time, nil-nil, McTominay in the late winner, entry time winner with that goal, McTominay, <coughs> a.k.a. McSauce, McMayo, McLight. Sometimes, you know, McChilly, whatever you want to call him, he finally got the injury time winner. Although Manchester United should have scored a goal as well, being denied on several occasions. And guys, it is what it is. I got to take it as well because the three points is what was needed. Otherwise, woo, we'll be playing the third, we'll be playing the playoff in the Europa League in the next round. But Manchester United goes to finish the top. So we continue. Although Rose Saucy that himself have won three goals to nil against Sheriff. Let's just hope that that showdown against Real Sociedad in Spain ends up with Manchester United winning. It was full time Manchester United winning one goal to nil. Uh, I was happy with the late winner, but on top of that, we should have scored more goals. After a gazillion amount of goal shots, a gazillion amount of uh, passes, Manchester United finally got that goal in, man. Oh, it was frustrating at times. Player-wise, got to say, Mark Rashford was absolutely poor. Shambles, his finishing was nowhere to be found. Bruno Fernandes, again, a poor performance from him. This guy is being questioned now. He's looking like a fraud, in my opinion, you know. He's very frustrating. Although, at times, he gets himself involved in the game. But final decision-making as well is sometimes questionable. But he was poor. Ronaldo couldn't get an opportunity to score goals. And he didn't have the best of games. Anthony as well did all right. He was okay. But Manchester United did what was most important, guys. Getting the three points. And we needed that three points, guys. We we definitely needed it. Otherwise, I will be pissed off just like you would. And think, raw Ammonia, at Old Trafford. After like a whole month away from Old Trafford, you think the first game at Old Trafford, the game, the boys themselves will destroy Ammonia and get as much goals as needed. But unfortunately, they didn't. They only got the one goal, so 
full time with Manchester United winning one goal to nil. Manchester United fans as well, if I go straight into it, my man in the match today has to go to Uzoho, the Nigerian goalkeeper for for Ammonio. He was absolutely magnificent. He played the game of his life, you know. A Manchester United fan living his dream, playing at Old Trafford, something that he's always wanted to do. Don't give the match has to go to Marcus Rashford because he had so many opportunities, clear cut chances, so many shots, just wasting it on that all the time. Manchester United fans, we take it one game at a time. We won this game. Now we're looking forward to playing against Newcastle. Hopefully we can beat Newcastle at Old Trafford and get the three points that we needed, guys. But it is what it is. You guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivorian Spice. Do let me know in the comments who your man of the match was, who your donkey of the match was. What was your thoughts on today's game? What was your thoughts on Marcus Rashford? Was he poor? Or was also Bruno Fernandes? Just let me know in the comments. As always, guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, share across all social media platforms, and also press that notification bell so you can be the first to watch. And as well, remember to follow all the socials, follow us on Instagram as well, and Twitter, and Twitch as well. Until next time, guys, remember to keep it united, and remember to keep it red united, because your boy Ivorian Spice is out. Peace!